So welcome back to Conan Exiles. Um, kind of had an issue with the previous game, so I uh, started kind of a new game, and I wanted to try out a new build. So I was having a look at some of the forum post and let's play videos, and I found out that the bow is actually a really really good uh, starting setup to go for because um, you get to be able to kite people and avoid from taking damage like close up so you have a higher chance of surviving when uh, you go for that so I am decided to try out this build and I kind of skipped to this section because uh, the beginning wasn't too interesting so Let me take care of this guy first. Two shots in. There we go. So, as you can see, I didn't even have to do much and uh, I took care of two guys. But um, I am level. What level am I now? I'm level 5 now and I've got these. So, Mitra, I actually chose a religion in the beginning so I started out with uh, Acolyte of Mitra. I'm going to be building this guy soon because uh, I want to play around with these guys. And um, I got the Apprentice Craftsman, Stonemason, uh, the Fireplace, and of course I've got the Hunting Bow and the Wind Box. So it's a really really good setup for the beginning and really enjoy it for, uh, for now. There's a lot going on, so I could take these guys easily if I kite them now, so if you have a look, oh, missed him, just have to make sure that I have gain enough distance, shoot, and then just run past him. Ow. Okay. And that's it. So, pretty simple. Um, how many? 31. So, I've been making actually a lot of, uh, bows and arrow or just arrows and I've been grinding a lot so that uh, I can get these foundations up and build my start the little shack so what I think so far beginning um, I think the best thing to do is to get set up and find a good place where you can grind out a lot of stone branches and um, where there's trees as well. You probably have to be close to these goblin or imp guys as well um, because of food and uh, water. So you can probably see that I'm close to a river right now and I tend to stay here. Uh, let me see if we can create some more some more of that. So this is a good area. You'll have all your resources that you need and you'll be able to start out with a good batch of resources here. So just make sure that you stay away from the camps. They're more visible during the night because of the campfire but yeah it's a good idea to stay away from them when you don't have uh, proper weapons. So found out that the bow can take them on and yeah once you get the bow you don't have to worry too much so the ground you'll find these uh, branches they're good for arrows and you'll need them for any type of tool that you need so get as much as them as you can you can also get them from trees if you hack it down with uh, with an axe 
you'll have um, a chance to get some branches off of it. So pretty much this is what I've been doing. Um, up to this point I have to re-get uh, Yogg, which is around there. So I'm going to probably do that off camera because I showed that last time and don't want to be repeating content so yeah. And even these guys, I just have to go far away. Make sure that it doesn't come close. And then I got it. So it's pretty easy to take care of just the normal regular mobs now. So. Yes. It will be a bit harder um, once you get to hyenas and stuff like that because they're a lot faster, but we'll worry about that later on. So still pretty hard to find a good build to, uh, to cover everything. Looks like... Okay. So... I will need some more food. So as you can see, um, I'm doing pretty well off here. I think uh, my design is not really, really good. So I'm gonna just probably do this off camera, or you guys let me let me know what uh, what you think, whether I should do this with you guys or not, or you can give me some suggestions on what to build here. Not sure if I can take on crocodiles yet, but uh, I'm sure I can try. Let's see if I have enough arrows. I have 28, so I could probably create one more. Okay, there's perfect crocodile. They're pretty slow, so I hate them pretty well. Just run far and just keep kiting them. And yes, we took one out. Yeah, this is the way to go in the beating. Just go for the bow. And don't get the sword until uh, later on in the game. I have a bit more, I just need two more. So actually I'll just hit a tree so that I can get that last. And also this little bug that you see that when you have the arrow equipped okay I hear another cross okay there it is and he takes a lot of does a lot of damage. And now I gain a level. So, yeah, now you don't have to worry about crocs anymore. Just make sure you have enough um, arrows so that you just don't run out. It's good to keep a couple 50 or so. And then since it's night time, um, I don't really want to bore you guys, so um, I think I'll leave it at that. Kind of a short ep episode, but I think I covered what you guys missed during since last time. And yeah, so thank you for watching, and see you next time. Have a good one.